you're live. We're good? Yep. Okay. Well, good morning, Fremont County. I'm Emma Davis. I am the Public Health Director. Um, and I just wanted to take some time to give you some updates on where we are for this COVID-19 COVID response pertaining to Fremont County. Over the weekend and during the week, we've been receiving a lot of the same questions, so I wanted to go ahead and answer those questions on one platform so that this can be saved, um, so it can be reviewed later and we can share information. Um, at this point in time, for Fremont County specifically, we have no confirmed cases of COVID-19. And as of yesterday, we had five probable cases, but that number will change today. Um, as we're getting more reporting and more screening done. Um, so why probable and not confirmed? So probable is because we have limited testing. We do not have access to mass testing at this point in time. We are trying very hard to get mass testing here. Um, I was actually just on the phone with Senator Heisey five minutes before we started this live stream trying to advocate to get more resources here in Fremont County and see what we can do for everybody. Um, so what is a probable case? We're using the term probable case. This is a case definition sent down through the state. A probable case means that somebody has the signs and symptoms and they may or may not have been exposed to somebody um, who was confirmed or not confirmed. Um, so this way we can go ahead and self help people figure out if they need to self-isolate or self-quarantine. So probable cases are not being tested. So we are not waiting on test results for those folks. The people who are probable are the ones that we do the epidemiological investigation and determine that you may have this, so this is what we have. Um, we're recommending at that point that they go into self-isolation and um, if we are doing the investigation, then our public health nurses and our team are reaching out to the close contacts um, and close contact is someone who was uh, within six feet of somebody, they live in the same household, they rode in the same car. Uh, we're reaching out to them and doing that investigation. We do have private practices who are reaching out and giving us their number of people that they're recommending to do self-isolation. So like I said, we'll probably see this number go up today um, and it'll continue to climb. But once we get a com lab confirmed COVID-19 positive test, um, we'll switch our reporting and we'll be focused mostly on the confirmed test. Now again, we're waiting on better testing capabilities, but for now the probable is what we have. Um, so again, probable, we are not testing probable because we can't or they don't fit the criteria for that. And um, the once we start getting some positive lab confirmed tests, then we're gonna focus efforts on those. Um, so some of the questions that we are getting here at Public Health, um, what do I need to do if I think I need to be tested? Um, first and foremost, please call your doctor. Um, your doctor is gonna be able to go through the same screening that we are, but they are more equipped and capable of diagnosing you or recommending if you come into the office, say if you might have strep throat or you need to be tested for the flu. Um, we don't do that at Public Health, so please go see your physician for that piece. Um, at Fremont County Public Health, if you don't have a physician but you have COVID-19 symptoms or symptom like um, the cough, the cold-like um, symptoms and hard time breathing, you can call us and we'll do the screening and determine if we think that you're a probable case or not. Um, please do not seek to um, get medical care if you have severe symptoms and um, if you're having other ailments, please call the ED before you go as well. That was something that we need to make sure we're calling. Um, after you speak to your doctor, they might recommend what's called self-isolation. So on this sheet right here, I'm gonna show this. This shows self-isolation and self-quarantine. I believe it's on our Facebook page. Um, if you don't have it and you want it, we can email it to you, mail it to you, post it other places. If you request it, we can absolutely share this. Um, isolation means that you are symptomatic and there are different guidelines for someone getting put on isolation than put on quarantine. So um, if a doctor recommends you go on self-isolation, um, then you're gonna be on isolation for roughly seven to 10 days. If you're in close contact with someone who's in isolation, then you're gonna put on quarantine. And quarantine means you are asymptomatic or you don't have symptoms, and that is for 14 days. Um, how do we know how many are tested in Fremont County? That is a really tough question. It's a really great question. Um, 
So we know that there is testing being done at St. Thomas More Hospital, but the problem is if somebody from Fremont County goes to Denver or Pueblo or the Springs to get tested, we're not necessarily being notified that they're being tested for COVID-19. Um, we have a good relationship with the hospital, so we know when um, someone's being tested so we can start the investigation. But if somebody from Fremont County goes even to Salida, we're not getting that notification. We will get notification if the test comes back positive, but that number is really, we can't give you a positive answer to that. Um, so that's tough for, that's a tough question. It's a great question, but it's a tough question to answer. Um, like I said, we won't be notified until we do get that positive lab result. So we're gonna do our best to answer that, but we don't have an accurate number if they go somewhere else. Uh, what about the prisons? What are we doing for the prisons? This question is being asked a lot as well. Um, the prisons have their own plans. The BOP and the DOC, the state prison, the federal prison, each have their own plans. They have their own surge plans. Um, they have their own protocols that they're following. I have reached out, like I said before, to try to figure out testing for this so that we can get a better idea of what's going on. Um, but the prisons do have their own plans. Who gets tested? How are we determining who gets tested? So um, per CDC guidelines and best recommendations, um, healthcare workers that have symptoms, um, that are consistent with COVID-19, they're gonna get tested. Um, the high-risk population and those who have been hospitalized at this point in time, as you've seen with COVID-19, this is very fluid and everything's changing. Um, so at this point in time, that's who we're prioritizing the test because we have limited testing resources. Uh, can public health make someone quarantine or isolate? Yes, we can. However, please, 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 self-isolate, self-quarantine. You don't have to wait for us to issue that. You can absolutely self-isolate and quarantine if at all possible, if you're experiencing the symptoms. Please call us so that we can walk through this with you and give you the resources you needed and the right guidelines. Um, we're here for you for that, but if we have to, yes we can, but we don't wanna go there. Uh, we're, I'm more educate, less regulate, and rather educate people on how to stay safe and how to protect everybody. Um, and But yes, we can make somebody do that. Where can I get tested? So if you are having symptoms, like I said before, please call your doctor, please call your physician. They'll be able to screen you and determine. Um, if they can test, they'll test. Um, but right now, like I said, there's limited testing kits. So they'll probably, um, if they think that you're a probable case or suspect COVID-19, they'll um, request you to go on self-isolation. Um, just another tip and another thing that we're getting some comments on is that public health is issuing uh, permission letters for people to leave their house or permission letters for them to go to work. Um, we are not doing that. We are not um, writing permission slips for healthcare workers to go to work. We are not giving police officers permission to go to work. Uh, you absolutely have permission to do that. Um, per the order that just came out last night, they are asking for the 50% uh, reduction in non-critical services, um, but we're not issuing permission letter, permission slips basically for people to be able to go to the grocery store. Um, so those are the main questions that we're getting. I have Michael that's also on this. Michael, do you have any questions that you might want to address right now? Not so much questions, but when everybody needs some answers, mm -hmm. our call center is open. It is staffed by my EOC team Monday through Thursday for right now from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. That number is 276-7420. So please share that number with anybody that needs any information, has any questions, we can direct those calls to public health for those specific questions to help Emma and her staff out and we can get most of your general, general questions answered back in the call center and get you that information that you're looking for. So please share that number with everybody. And if this event dictates, then we can get more people in the call center if we need to, to answer more questions. Uh, you can also leave a message after hours or if there are too many calls coming in, there is a recording and you can always leave a message and it does get forwarded. And if they are on the answering mach answering machine, I do return every single call that gets left. So everybody will get the information they're looking for. Mm -hmm. And also Facebook Messenger, if you send us a direct message, uh, Michael's been really good about getting back um, or reaching out to us so that we can answer that question. I do have a question for those who are viewing this and for Fremont County residents. 
Um, we are looking for your suggestions on how to get more communication out to Fremont County. This is not Canyon City centric. This is not just a Canyon City response. Um, I do recognize that there are some places that don't have access to the internet, um, especially on the western side. So if you um, have suggestions, please email that or Facebook message us so that way we can get that information out. Um, again, we're trying to practice social distancing, so if we can mail something um, or post it somewhere that people can see it, please let us know if there's a better way to get that communication out. We're looking for that. Um, but for this time, my ask for you, for all Fremont County residents, is just for this period of time, please practice social distancing. Um, go to the store once a week, like Governor Pola said. Don't go twice a week. Try to go once a week so that we're limiting the exposure. Um, FaceTime with your friends. Um, be creative on how you're still keeping those relationships, but keep them six feet apart. Um, and just do what you can to slow the spread. We're trying to make sure that our hospital and healthcare system is not overwhelmed with a major surge. Um, and I want to thank you all for being very engaged during this very difficult time and taking the necessary actions to protect yourself, your family, and your neighbors. It's gonna take all of us to do this together. Um, it can't just be certain people doing certain things. It's gonna take everybody. So thank you for um, holding yourself and your friends and your neighbors and everyone accountable during this time. Um, we really appreciate it. And like I said, if you have any questions, please send them our way. Um, we're being very responsive. Um, and if you have specific questions about COVID-19 and some of the um, virus-specific questions, Dr. King's live stream that's on our Facebook page that she did last week is still up there, has a lot of really great information on the page. And Michael said the hotline number, which is 276-7420. Please call that with general questions. If you need to be screened or have symptoms, please call the public health main line. Um, that's 276-7450. There's some misinformation um, that's getting posted out there, but if you need to be screened by a public health nurse, call the public health main line, 276-7450. Hotline, general questions is 276-7420. And please go out and support, don't go out, but go pick up, uh, take out, support your local businesses as much as possible. Um, let's try to keep, um, keep them going. So um, practice social distancing, wash your hands, practice good hygiene. That's all I have for everybody, and we'll share an update every day at 5 o'clock. We're posting um, updated numbers for the probable cases. Like I said earlier, once we start getting those lab-confirmed cases, uh, we'll be reporting those um, and shifting our focus on that. Thank you, everybody.